really the sales tax that is the one that's impacting consumers, but also businesses alike, because a lot of businesses have to pay sales taxes themselves on their business inputs, um, because sales tax bases often apply broadly uh, to more than just personal consumption. So New Mexico and South Dakota both have very broad sales tax bases, like you said, where they apply to more consumption than the average state. And Hawaii is another one with a very, very broad sales tax base. And so that was part of the reason in those states that they really wanted to work on bringing that rate and reducing it, uh, bringing it down a bit. And so, you know, I think that that's really interesting that it was the broad based taxes that they're really looking to bring the rate, rates down on. Whereas in the other states, it's really the income tax that is viewed as the most harmful to economic growth. And so we're seeing that as being the tax that a lot of businesses and individuals care the most about because it is impacting their ability to reinvest in their business, hire more workers, you know, increase the wages of their existing workers, invest in new machinery and equipment. So that's the one that has the most impact on economic growth in a lot of states, as well as the corporate income tax. There's a lot of economic literature showing it's the corporate income tax, then the individual income tax, and then sales taxes, and then property taxes that have um, the relatively worst impacts on state economic growth. And so that's why income taxes were a big priority in most of these states. But you know, I do think we have to start keeping more of an eye on the sales tax too, because it is a major business tax. 